I don't remember a time when I didn't sketch. I was one of those kids that, that picked up a pencil right away and, and my mother thought it was cute and so she, she encouraged me. When you express yourself through visual arts, almost invariably you're trying to tell a story. And, and I like telling stories anyway, that's why I write. And so to be able to write and then illustrate what you write puts an, another layer on the story. And watercolor you can put in your pocket. I have a watercolor kit that I carry with me virtually everywhere. A lot of painting ability is not innate talent. It's not just being able to pick it up and do it, but it's the time you put into practice. Painting has all these sort of interesting aspects beyond just the, the pleasure. Your perception changes for having looked at it. So it's not just that you have observed more closely and you've seen all these details that you would have just blown them right past otherwise. And you've come to a deeper sort of enjoyment of life for having done that, but it also changes. You also go away thinking, I've interacted with my environment and I've come away different for knowing these things. I've, I've, it's something that now I'm, I'm in a little bit different gear and I'll always be in a little bit different gear because now everything else around me, I'm gonna notice a little more and enjoy a little more deeply. And you stop and look at things and you, and you start to appreciate all the details, the nuances, and the quotidian things start to become beautiful. I think it was John Constable, who was a 19th century painter, who said, I see no ugly things because in my mind's eye, I look at them and I say, how would I render this? And as I recreate them in my mind, they become beautiful to me. The world is more beautiful to you when you paint. You understand yourself a little better in relationship to your environment when you paint, and you understand the environment a little better because you actually make yourself see it. Life is an activity in search of a narrative that you don't really experience life until you try to interpret it.